Imagine a world where the majestic lion, a symbol of strength and freedom, finds itself imprisoned not in the wild savannas, but behind the bars of commercial facilities in South Africa. Here, far from the sun-soaked plains where they belong, these lions live under a sinister shadow, trapped in an industry that profits from their very existence. This is the reality for many African lions today. While free-ranging lion populations are slowly recovering, their numbers in captivity have skyrocketed. South Africa, home to a thriving captive lion industry, once justified this practice as a means to reduce the hunting pressure on wild lions. By breeding lions for trophy hunters, the argument went, the wild populations would be spared. But as time passed, the noble intent has been twisted into something far darker. Behind closed doors, these facilities have become breeding grounds not just for lions, but for unethical practices and illegal trade. Workers from two such facilities in Northwest Province have revealed the grim truth. Some of these establishments use the legal front of breeding and hunting to mask their involvement in the illegal international trade of lion bones. This trade feeds a global demand, particularly in traditional medicine markets, turning these kings of the jungle into mere commodities. But the horror doesn't stop there. These facilities are rife with animal welfare violations, putting both the lions and the workers in harm's way. Some have even hinted at a shift towards exploiting other big cats, like tigers, raising fears of a new wave of cruelty. The poaching of captive lions and tigers by outsiders is yet another symptom of this unchecked industry, where even the most basic standards of care and safety are ignored. In a world where surveillance is meant to protect, these facilities have weaponized it to avoid detection. With security cameras, patrols and encrypted messaging apps, they create a facade of legitimacy, skirting the laws meant to protect these magnificent creatures. The South African government has voiced its intention to end this practice, but words alone are not enough. To truly liberate these lions, a comprehensive plan is needed, one that audits every facility, halts all breeding activities, and ensures that the bones of these lions do not pile up in secret stockpiles. The story of South Africa's lions is not just about the fight against illegal trade. It's a call to re-examine our relationship with the wild. These creatures deserve to roam free, not live under the shadow of human greed. The time has come to dismantle the cages and let the lions roar again in the wild, where they belong. Want to protect lions? Join BigCatRescue.org.